Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome to another video. And in this one, we're going to be going through literally all the problems that you guys have been having with the Quest 2 and trying to set up Airlink. So I've been looking through some of the questions you guys have been leaving on my video. Let's just go through a few. So this is my video here. How to set up, fix any Oculus Air Link issues, Oculus V28. I don't know what version we're on now, maybe like 29. But um, people are experiencing tracking issues, um, stuck in loading screen. Uh, click launch, it puts them in an infinite loading screen. Launch button is grayed out. Good vid. So it has worked for some of you. Mine won't launch. It's not letting me launch. My headset will connect to my PC, but the PC won't let me pair to the headset. Getting three dots, then back to Oculus Hub. How do I fix that? Air link is lagging a lot and then closing. Air link isn't pairing with my laptop. It lets me connect my headset, but it doesn't let me pair to launch. Right, so hopefully it will go through some things and um, maybe get this fixable for you. So I'm going to try and go through everything basically, just to make sure you guys have got everything right. So um, in terms of hardware with your PC, whatever graphics card you have, it shouldn't really matter as long as your PC is VR ready. Good way to know that is if you have this app here, GeForce Experience, the free download, you can go and download that off uh, the internet. I'll leave a link in the description for that. Go to settings, my rig. So 28 Ti, 32 gig RAM, and then features here, it'll say uh, virtual reality ready, meets the recommended spec for virtual reality gaming. So here is what it recommends. GeForce GTX 970 or higher, 4i5 or higher, 8 gigabyte of RAM or higher, Windows 7 or later, GeForce 359 driver or later. So another good way to make sure your driver's up to date, just click on drivers, check for updates. I've literally just installed the latest update. You might not need to do any of this, but it's always good to make sure that you do these steps. Just, just try do like the process of elimination. All right, so once you've got that done, um, head over to the Oculus app, uh, head over to uh, settings, beta, and this is where you enable air link. Okay, it's gonna be grayed out to start with. You wanna click that. Uh, it's gonna go over to devices. Uh, this is going to say not connected as of yet because I've not collect, connected AirLink to it. But if you just tap on the headset, um, just maybe might be worth looking through the settings. We maximize that so you guys can see a little bit better. So I don't know if this helps, but it might be worth just going through them anyway. So we've got graphics preferences here. If you tap that, you can choose the refresh rate. Uh, also rendering resolution, automatic recommended. So if you guys are having any like lagging issues, this might fix it. So it's worth trying it out. Possibly just click automatic. It might already be on automatic, but it's worth having to play about with it. Uh, just click OK. Um, oh, it now says it's active. That might be because I've actually got it connected at the moment with a cable. Don't worry, I'm going to unplug it and show you guys without a cable using AirLink natively. Um, but it might be just worth connecting it to the PC anyway, just to go through these settings. But you can still do it anyway when it's connected wirelessly. But we'll go through that later. So once you've checked that out, enable, make sure that air link is on. I'm gonna jump into the headset. And obviously you need an Oculus Quest 2. This is for the Oculus Quest 2. Okay, so VR, nope, this scene. But now we're gonna go into the headset, show you guys 
few extra steps just to make sure you've got right. So you press the Oculus button, go down to quick settings. Um, in fact, no, you don't want to do that yet. Go to apps and then actually open up your settings. Experimental features. And then you can turn on air link here. Again, if you're having any issues, you can reset all experimental features, resets it back to default. Um, nothing else we really need to do here. So make sure air link is enabled and go back to here, quick settings, Oculus air link. Then I'm going to say available computers. Um, again, make sure that they're both connected to the same network. Right, so this is what I was looking for. Air link requirements, can you see that? Air link is an early access feature. Uh, performance will vary, vary greatly based on your PC specs and network conditions. So requirements, only use air link on a secure Wi-Fi network that you trust. Use a five gigahertz network uh, whilst we were connected to your PC with an ethernet cable. So my PC is connected by ethernet. You wanna make sure you do that, just so you've got a strong connection. Uh, the following are known to cause performance issues. PC connected wirelessly to your network. So don't have your PC connected wirelessly to your network or using a 2.4 gigahertz network. We're gonna click continue. Um, Oculus Air Link not connected. So we're gonna click on that. Then this is gonna be grayed out, not connected. So what we're actually gonna do is tap on that, click pair. This is connected. If this is still grayed out, or it'll say here, you might not see that. But you get a little notification says connected. Also says here connected. Launch might be grayed out like that. You want to actually click on it and then tap launch. So far so good. I hope. If you guys are finding this video useful, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. I know it's a little bit of a mess. It's actually quite hard doing these kind of videos, but I do enjoy it. It appears to be that I am getting the infinite loading screen with three dots. You guys can't see that right now, but I am actually experiencing that same issue. All right, so what I'm actually gonna do is disconnect cable. You don't need that anymore, right? Currently, right now, and the black screen with the three dots, the infinite loading screen. Okay, so we're gonna go and try and fix this now. So it's gonna tap the power off button, tap it back on. Mm, fixed it, I'm gonna press the Oculus button. Okay, so now we're back at the hub. Uh, I'm gonna click Zoom. Still at the infinite loading screen. Okay, so we're going to go back to the home button. Uh, casting can. So, ah. Uh, so, as you can see right now, I'm actually having casting issues. So, that screen. Uh, so, we're going to quit Oculus Link. Are we back? Your back is still pretty laggy. Uh, so, even I still have issues, but that's probably because I'm just trying to do a video and everything. But it was working fine yesterday. So, we're going to go back to quick settings, air link connected. Yeah. And there we go. We're actually in now. So far, so good. Reset view. You guys can see this. I hope. Right, I'm going to like set this up in real time whilst recording. Right. So we're now in PC VR with Oculus Link. There are some more settings we need to just have a look. And that is right here. Oh my gosh. Smashing everything. 
you want to go to here, which is the Oculus Air Link. Okay, so we've got some more settings here. Bitrate. So again, this is going to determine the quality, visual quality. We can have it set to dynamic or we can have it set to fixed 10 megabytes per second. So you're going to want to ha have to play around with this, but if your internet can handle it, then maybe the higher the better quality, but can also affect the actual performance. So this is where you might potentially have a lot of lagging issues. I just have it set to fixed, set it to dynamic. It's going to change it to 50 megabytes per second. Um, but I mean, in terms of like recording, the quality is actually really good, but in the headset, the quality might not be great. But we're going to do some gameplay um, just to show you guys the quality. But that's going to be using Streamlabs OBS to do the recording. And I'll also see if I can record actual footage from within the headset. Also show you guys what I actually see. So we're going to start with fixed changes. Yeah, we don't want to quit. Exit out of that. And then we're going to play some Beat Saber. I'm going to stand up for this. So this is what I'm experiencing right now, actually. Such a noob at making these videos. So this is the issue I'm currently having now. You guys might come across this. So I'm actually getting a lot of lag. And fix that. Fix. So this one actually works. I don't know what the issue is with Beat Saber. Uh, look, point. Oh, my head. Where am I? The last thing I remember is that I was on my way home. Oh, God, are those corpses? What the hell is happening? I have to get out of here. I can see a door in that direction, but it's closed. I found a needle. I already have it. If I could get something to inject into the lock. So if I already have it. I can try to open the door. see light in that direction. Maybe there's a way to escape. I think I can go through this hole in the fence. Looks like the door is open. Maybe someone can help me. Doll creeps me out. I can't, I can't go in that direction. It seems that the floor is collapsed. That sign says banned. Did you like the Desoladium demo? If you want to play the full game, please support Desoladium on Indiegogo. Pre order your game now for a limited price and get ex. So, it seems that with Beat Saber, there is an issue, but with the other game, it worked fine. So 
I have to come back on that one. I have had it working before with Beat Saber. I suppose it's just very temperamental. Um, let's try, try one more game. Seemed to be actually pretty laggy in my headset. I don't know why. It was working. Oh, I think I know why. I do. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I know why. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Right. It's because I'm downloading games. Oh, my gosh. Right. So make sure you're not downloading anything. How I know this, why is because when you are downloading something in the background and you're also trying to like stream wireless content to say like a mobile device or like I'm doing now, I'm streaming my headset over the network. So it's going to experience issues. I'm like downloading two games at once. So it's, it's using up a lot of my, uh, my bandwidth. Even though I've got quite, we'll get 60 megabytes per second, which is good for us in the UK. But um, even when we are downloading games, it's, it's going to affect the connection when you're doing stuff like this. Even if you were to live stream whilst downloading games, it's going to affect your, your connection and um, perform. you're going to have a lot of performance issues. So that is the problem. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't be doing that whilst I'm doing this video. But um we'll continue and I'll get back to you when I've not when I'm not downloading. So here is another example of a game, Sketchbox. Like I said, at the moment there just seems to be an issue with Beat Saber and I don't know why. But this is the second game I've tried, Sketchbox, and it's working fine. So let's just have a quick look around. I'm very wise to have my microphone in front of me. Oof. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Nice. Worked. Ah. <laughs> little cheeky plug in there um so sketchbox oh i'll look at sketchfab vr then so we're in another game not displaying anything on the oculus mirror Okay, so you have to reopen Oculus Mirror every time you start like a new game. Right, so let's check out Sketchfab.
Oh, so you can see Markle's home now. Cool. Right. My God. Oh, sick. Hello? Oh. One, two. Very good. I can actually see what's on my screen from looking, from looking at that. That's very good. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Because the mark he left on my head. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, you guys. So I know that was a super long video, but I'm hoping it helped. Thank you for watching my previous quest videos, beat save videos were proven to be quite popular. Although I am a variety content creator. I don't just do VR videos, beat save videos, but I would really appreciate it if you still subscribe to the channel. For me, this channel is just about sharing with you guys the things that I learn and I like to share them on online. Do a lot of gaming videos, a lot of tutorials. I just, I enjoy it all. So if you guys could subscribe, or, or just leave comments. Let me know if you're enjoying my content or you like this content because I'll still bring them more. Yeah, if you do have any more questions, you can leave them in the comments or you can go and join me in Discord, Next Gen Community. The link is in the description. Also, you can see me live on Twitch, live on YouTube as well, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching. Again, hope you found it useful. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. See you on the next video. This filter makes me look so ugly. Oh, wait, I actually don't have any air. Look at all these spots. Ugh. Thank you.